She really hates him. It's really true. Are all the mics on and everything? Everything good. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. I guess it sounds good. Are we? Is this recording? Yeah, it said so. It did. Yeah, but he's still here. That's why you don't. Oh. Do we have to look at his face the whole time? I don't mm -hmm. mind. I don't care. It's like a producer. Do I mean I don't? Oh look, he's gone. Was this something I said? Uh, welcome to uh, my wife hates me. Uh, very, very, very big podcast. Very big. And uh, I'm Rich Voss, and my co-host Bonnie McFarlane. If this is your first time tuning in, do you just wave back at me? Yeah. I was waving at the people, the I was fans. Wa I was waving at And then you just waved at me. Because I'm looking at you in the... Hi. I'm not waving at you. Well, I'm waving at the fans, too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're here today, back in uh, New Jersey. We were in uh, Austin, Texas, at South by Southwest. And uh, what did, did you have a good time, Bonnie McFarlane? I was a short time. I got in on Saturday evening, and then um, I went to a show Saturday night. I had to do a roast battle. Oh, I'm tired of it. It was so t tiring because it started late, and then it was like 1 o'clock in the morning, which was actually 2 o'clock in the morning. Anyway. Then the next day we did our show, which was Would You Bang Him, which was great. A huge success. It's so funny, that show. And, Everything um, fell in place. Yeah. and um, All the comedy, that's it? You're just going to say, you're not going to give any details? Of well, I was going to, but then you started talking, so then I allowed you to talk. Oh, all right. Oh, are you going to blow your nose in? This is the segment we always do. What? Where Rich blows his nose. No, I, away from the... Mm-hmm. <sighs> Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to have to leave as soon as the housekeepers get here, by the way. How do you know they'll be here? Because they send a text like, on their way, and then it's about 40 minutes from that text. i got to take a shower. So it's, yeah. You're sitting a little... A little what? Were you tired or something? I'm not tired. Like the... I'm always tired, but I'm not tired. Open yourself and your heart. Just go ahead. What you were saying about? Oh, so who do we have as judges? We had Dulce Sloan from the um, Daily Show. Yes. Marilyn Rice Cub from Twenty Four. She's got a book out uh, coming out called Famish. And um, Logan something. Oh, Logan. Gunzelman, who we never met her before, but she was hilarious, Very so funny. funny. She's from she's an LA comic, and uh, Emma Willman, who I love. I think she's so funny. I love her Instagram. She always posts clips of her doing crowd work, and um, Colton. Who I don't know his last name. He's. He's a comic and part owner of the Creek. Part the Creek. owner of the Creek of the Cave. And, and, and um, he was also really funny. Everyone was really on their game. Very funny. So those were the judges. And then f the comics would come up and do, you know, 10-ish minutes. And uh, then afterwards, the um, the female judges would t say if they would bang them or not. Who you was? know, with a little funny, you know, sort of editorializing on their set. And... Um, so who do we have up first? Sean Patton. Sean Patton. Very funny. And, Very funny. And then, uh, I don't remember everybody. Shit. Sean Patton. Matthew. Broussard. Broussard. Uh, who else? Whoa. Um, Jamar Neighbors. From uh, Roast Battle, The Wave. He's, 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 uh, yeah. So he was. Uh, um, and Eddie Pepitone, but there was somebody else. We're missing somebody. Oh, oh, Ian Laura. 
Oh yeah, Ian Laura. Okay, so we only had five comics. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Ian Laura was up there for over twenty minutes because he did his set, and then they really just went through it with him. You know, whether they would bang him or not, it was like Dolce was very uh, cutting, I guess. Uh huh. Remember, and then Colton said he was like a backpack. It was small, and then he goes, "My sweatshirt's a medium." They were making fun of his sweatshirt, and I looked on the back, and it was a small. Was it really a small? No, but I thought it said small. I wasn't trying to be an asshole. But then later he showed me that it was a medium. <laughs> but we, the audience went crazy. It was very, very fun. It was, well, and then and then um, Jamar neighbors did an actual striptease. Yes, where he had like he he'd take somebody and put him on a chair and the and and you know grind on them and stuff and. You're like an old lady and grind. I mean, I don't know what he wanted me to say. And when we walk out, you know, we open the show. And I said, before the show, I go to Bonnie, let me talk a little. She gets started. I swear to God, if I get a word in edgewise, it's like, it's it's unbelievable. And, and she's doing great. Don't get me wrong. She's very funny. But just. But can I, I told you why. I said before the show. I know, but then I couldn't stop it. It was going good, so I just had to keep going because I said to you, you can, you can just go from zero to a hundred. You know, it's harder for me. So I, if I'm go- doing well, you should just let me do well. Yeah, but it's the opening. They got to know that there's two hosts. They did. You were being funny. You nah, said the first thing, good. yes, about how you make me leave with a CD after we have sex. Oh. The audience in the beginning doesn't like me because you're mean towards me. And I got them by the end of the That's show. That's not true. Oh, really? You can't even say true without singing it. True. That's not true. Anyhow, the show was a complete success. We were supposed to, I don't know uh, how much time we were supposed to do. We came in on time. No, we we just didn't. We were just like 10 minutes over or something, I swear to God, because they came up to me and they were like, this has to be finished at 7.30. We started at 6. And w- I was like, oh, God, we're not going to make it. But then... No, I, they it, said, let it go, because it was so good. They never said it to me. Well, that's what I heard. They were like... They said it to themselves. I was still no, trying to bring it, it in on Chris. time. They said it to Chris. Wow. Just let it go, because it was... The best show at South by Southwest. Everybody was talking about it. Were they? Oh, you kidding me? Because I left. So then the next, I left that night or whatever. No, you left the next morning. Four thirty a.m. So you can say that's morning or night, and and um, hey, the key a.m. But go ahead. Yeah, I mean it was. No, I mean you still think of it as you don't go like, oh, I'm going to a party this morning. Do you? You don't go to a party at four thirty a.m. Yeah. Okay, but if you're using AM, you could go to a party at 1 AM. Yeah, if you're invited. I'm going to go home this morning. You don't say that. I'm going home. You still could consider it a night. No, if you were at the show at the club, they go, when you're leaving, you'll go tomorrow morning. You wouldn't go No, I wouldn't. I'd say this morning then. Yeah, this morning. Which still the word morning is in it, right? Well, I'm just saying, I I think you can use night or morning. You in wouldn't those say situations. tonight. You wouldn't go tonight. Yes, I kept people kept asking when are you leaving. I I would go tonight. No, you wouldn't. I no. said it many times. Your fl- what time was your flight? See, you're lying. Four thirty a.m. No, it wasn't four. I mean you seven left. a.m. But I had to leave at four thirty a.m. Yeah, so you would go. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I actually left at five fifteen. I thought I kept thinking I had to leave at four thirty, but it's a little early. And <clears throat> so, I stayed two more days. I did, uh, what did I do? So, were people talking about the show? Nonstop. No, come on. Yes, it was the show of shows. Are you kidding Who me? Who was talking about it? Everybody. Like what? Heard, Comics were like, oh, we heard about the show? Yeah, they go, I heard it was great. I wish I was there. Some were there going, it was unbelievable. You know, it just was, we've done Would You Bang Them? We've done it at Moon Tower. I don't know if we did it in Montreal. We've done it at the Village Underground. We've done it at a, a lot of... Oh, we did it at Skank Fest. Uh, it's a festival favorite. Yeah, and this was the best one out of all the ones we've done, I think. This was pretty close to the... Right. I can't think of one that was... I mean, they're all good. They're all great. 
but this was at a whole nother level of funny. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it just it, it worked out. We filmed it. I don't know what they'll do with it, if they'll put it online, if they'll try to sell it to a network, if it'll go on the new uh streaming platform Switch. No, and, it's Wits. Oh Wits, Wits, sorry, Wits, sorry. W I T Z. It's coming out in April. So uh it was uh it was a big success. Then the next night uh, I did, oh, I did Kill Tony at the Vulcan, I don't know what it's called, some club, the Vulcan. You went and played golf with him? We played golf. Is at he a good golfer? Club. He's all right for some, I play like shit. I mean, I played so bad. The course was a monster. What's his name? Tony Hin- Hinchcliffe. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if he knew it. Tony Hinchcliffe, yeah. So I played golf with him. He got us on some course. He is friends with somebody who's a member at it's an amazing it was an amazing course and he has a good swing i i was all over the place i shot like 94 95 you know where if i played the course again i mean i i didn't know the course like i hit one drive right down the middle you know probably 270 yards and there was a creek down there i didn't know that no one told me it went right into the drink Yep, right into the drink, into the creek. Why did you say, why did you like look like that? Because you think you're so cool because you know one term, into the drink. Where did you hear well, that Well, first from? of all, that's for like if you're fishing or anything. That's not golf. Yeah? No, into Anyhow, the drink. Anyhow, I didn't know the course, but the course was beautiful. It was uh, a Fazio course. I forget the name of it. So we played golf, then I did Kill Tony. I just slaughtered on it. I hope they don't edit. I don't know how he does his final, uh, you know, before he puts it up. I don't know if they edit or... Why? Why don't... Well, I don't know how... But what, you're worried that they're going to edit out all your funny lines? I was too funny. Sometimes you're too funny. Oh. I mean, I don't know the format. I mean, the format is comics come out, new comics and do a minute, and he interviews them and we... Interject. Oh, we're supposed to remember. We like a long time ago. We used to new comics would send us their tapes, uh huh, and then they would like um, ask us to review it. Yes, and we would be really super mean. One guy sent us, and we reviewed it, and then he sent me another one recently, and wanted us to review it again. And I was thinking that'd be kind of funny. Uh, maybe we will. But I, they, I don't remember it now. I've lost it. It's in my Instagram somewhere in the oh. in the depths of my DMs. I don't know where it is. If he's listening, send it to me again. Well, I mean, he's been doing Kill Tony for like nine years, I think he said. And the place was packed. It was fun. I, he He's the host. I guess Red Band does the producing or, you know, the computer work. Mm-hmm. And... The other guy on the show was from The Wave, too. I forget his name. He was funny. It was great. It was great. Uh, I don't know when it goes up. So I did that. Then I hosted a show at... uh, What's that place? Something Follies, where we did... Esther's Follies. Esther's Follies. I hosted a show by The Stand, but there were so many comics on it. You were on it. Oh, that was the night before. No. Yes, yes, because I'd already left the the day oh, that yeah, you right. went. Oh, that was after. That was that was after. A, that was the show. That was after um, our show. Whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I know what I did. I did kill Tony. Then I judged roast battle, and I was just so out of it for roast. I'm getting. I'm done with the roast. I battle. know. I was you bored know. doing roast battle too because it's like the four. You know, they just use this formula. That's just like now it feels like it's so there's so I mean one you're just watching people like trash each other using a certain formula it's not that interesting and like a, a good roast is clever there's not a lot of clever lines there's some clever lines I mean it's clever in the sense of like you you know this kind of joke construction where it's like you know you look like the uh pedophile and the guy he's molesting you know the, the same clever, you know whatever clever. but i'm just saying like it's like that but like 
Yes. You know. Well, one guy came out. He had a prop. You know, uh, he was roast battling, I guess, a guy that was Indian and Arab. So the guy came out with a cricket bat with a with like dynamite, a bomb taped to the end of it. Like he ordered it. He so it didn't go well. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I don't think any of them went well. And but they're in a position. So the judges were me, DeRosa. I think the girl's name is Blair. I really like this girl. She was friends with Rosebud. Didn't you oh know? yeah, yeah, Blair. Soaky or something like that. Yeah, I like that. She's I'm a. Uh, that's my new pal. Mm -hmm. uh, one, she laughs at a lot of things I said, so I like people that laugh at what I said. Mm -hmm. uh, so wait, she was a judge. Mike Lawrence, me and DeRosa. Uh, I think Mike Lawrence lives for roast battle. He's good at it. You know, he's he's good. He came after me a couple times. I laid low. I didn't attack him. I don't like when they the judges come after other judges. Yeah, it's like, well, you're not getting paid. You're not getting anything out of this. It's like, leave me out of it. Yeah, I know. So I told him that one time. I was like... I know. I went Dude, after him. stop. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You know? I'm not here to like... You know, I keep my brain razor sharp with like, yeah, you know, know, comebacks for you. It's like, yeah, it's it's you know, whatever. He's still he's a he's not a I bad like guy. He's not yeah. a bad guy, and he, you know he does well at it. So I guess when you do well at something, you try to uh, keep doing it and doing it, doing it and doing it, and you know, there's it's hard to draw a line when you're good at something. Mm -hmm. So. I guess me and DeRose and him and Blair, you know, the one guy with the prop. I mean, we're judges. We're sub Our job is to fucking smash you and be funny. We're not there. It, this isn't to give you hope in your career. It's roast battle. We're supposed to be funny. And so we did what trash the guy. I don't know. You know, whatever. Not mean, just funny. Mm -hmm. Then after the show... First of all, DeRosa goes up to him and says, oh, good job. And the guy's like, well, why didn't you say that when I was up there? Da, 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 you know, uh, be a negative. And, and Joe's like, what? What the fuck? All right, you stunk then. You know, mm -hmm. he got in Joe's face. He, you know, they, And then he got in Mike Lawrence's face. He didn't say nothing to me. I don't know why. I mean, because I'm Rich Voss, I guess. But, you know, they they say stuff like, it's so funny. They're almost... I don't know if they're working comics or if they're new comics, but their their comebacks are like after our careers. And everyone on the fucking every one of the judges has a great career. That's why we're judges. Mm -hmm. They're not asking new comics to be judges. They're asking us because we are are good at what we do and we have, you know, we're known. So you know, their comebacks are, ah, oh, you guys, your, your careers are, you know, shut up, it's stupid. Uh, but anyhow, I'm kind of done with, I don't know, it seems like roast battle's been going too long. Let it die. Does that, I guess it's a, a, a festival favorite. I don't know. Right. Uh, I mean, I like the host. Uh, Brian Moses is great. He's a great host at it. Mm -hmm. He really is. And... He should be on TV hosting something because he's likable. He's funny. He's likable. He's oh funny. my God! What's well, happening over there? Nothing. I. I the liquids are just dripping out of your mouth. Well, at least they're coming out of something. You know, it's so weird. I see the other day, like you've never cried, right? I've never seen you I cry. cry all the time. I've never seen you cry, but like it's like the liquids in your head have to come out somewhere, <laughs> so they have to come out of your mouth. <laughs> Why do you let tears come out? That's where you're crying through your mouth. That's what's happening. Okay. Is that your theory? Why are you staring at yourself? I'm not. What are you doing then? You never look at me. You never look away. I'm, we're doing a podcast. I'm not sitting here doing an interview. God. I'm looking at the people. <laughs> the people are not in there. They're in there. Oh. So, 
You want to look at great. them? Go he's, look at them. Tell them. Great. Tell them how you feel about them. He's a great host. And if they ask me to judge again, I'll do it because I'm good at it. But I was so tired because I did two hours to kill Tony. And you're not, you know, you're trying to be funny a little bit. Right, negative. right. It's the same sort of it's, skill set that you're using. And then an hour, over an hour roast battle. I can't be that mean for that long. Yeah, right. You know, it just gets tiring. Right. So I that was, you know, and after our show, after... Oh, no, that was a different night. So our show, and then I hosted it. We show. haven't even done half an hour yet. I'm so bored of listening oh, yeah. to you. I'm Talk I'm about bored. your fucking hours of Kill Tony and roast battle. It's like, what, what more can I do? <sighs> so. Any then, complaints about me lately? Then, uh, hold on. And then uh, last night. Don't you want to talk about what you mad about me? Mad uh, at me about? Why am I mad at you? For I don't know. You're always a little mad at me. Last night you well, were super mad at me. I wasn't mad at you. I was a little cranky. Uh, traveling all day. And then, you know, you get home. You're trying to get your life back together. And I got to leave Friday. I said five times yesterday, I got to go to Harrisburg Friday. Not one time did you respond. I... I, uh, you're always going somewhere. Am I supposed? To, oh my goodness! You're leaving. Oh, are you leaving? No, maybe not in that voice. I mean, I don't know. Harrisburg. Wow, what a wonderful, exciting, exotic I trip didn't you're say going I was on. Going on excited. I'm saying this so you have to know that I won't. Be I know on. you're leaving on Friday for Harrisburg. You told me five times, and you never once said, "Oh, wow." Uh, 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 I'm uh, sorry. Uh, oh, wow to Harrisburg? No, not wow. Like, it's good. Like, acknowledge that I won't be home. Friday oh, okay. But you're never home Friday and Saturday. So would it, like... I'm home next week. Okay, well, that... Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then the week after, I go to Rhode Island. Mm. A lot of stuff. A lot of work. See, I say nothing when you leave. If you're home, I go, oh, wow. Is that your joke? I don't get it. I'm saying it's rarer for you to be here. No, it isn't. I just, on weekends, I have a lot of weekend stuff. That's what I'm saying. You, since we've met, you've been going away almost every weekend. Fair? <sighs> True? No. <laughs> I mean, I'll go and do a lot of gigs that I can drive home on Saturday. What are you talking about now? What are you arguing? What is the point you're trying to make? I'm not making any point. That you don't leave, I but do. yet you drive? What the fuck does that mean? What are you talking about? I said, do you leave almost every weekend? No. no if I, I drive, don't. what are you talking no, about? I don't go far or get on a Who plane. gives a shit? That's not what I'm talking about. Do you leave? Stay overnight almost every weekend somewhere beside your home. No, I do a lot of local okay, stuff. Okay, go fuck I yourself. Say it's go fuck your mother right now because that's She's your... She's dead. Yeah, well, finally you can get close to her. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> You're gross. But why? I don't get it. If I said you never go in the road... Okay, watch this. You, you never leave. You never go anywhere. Sometimes I do. No, you... you <laughs> were you gone last weekend? No. No, I stayed home. You left on Sunday? Yeah. Okay, but I was gone. Yeah, so you were gone. How about the weekend before? <laughs> you're, like a, you're almost a mental crazy person to your eyes. Yes, because I live with you. You're insane. You're like, it's so bizarre that you'd be like, no, I don't go away. You go away That's almost true. every weekend. I work a lot. Okay. okay. So then I don't understand this argument. It's half and half. Some is local, some is on the road. That's why I try But does it matter? You're working every weekend. So when you say to me you're going to Harrisburg, I, yeah. Acknowledge. That checks. What was that, a weekend before? No, I don't care anymore. I'm done. I'll look it up. I don't I'm care. done this argument because it's like. It's not an argument. It's, it, yes, it is. It's just you wanting to win something. I'm not trying to win anything. And it makes no sense. Oh, I wish. I, I, this is what I realized the other day. You I were think gone that weekend. Where were you? I went to L.A. Yeah, I was local. I think what you love being wrong. Oh my! I think God. that's your your thing. That's why you keep you you you're wrong. Wait, I, this is your second theory. We had the crying 
theory first. Yeah. Oh, why, why don't we do a segment? Theories by Bonnie. Okay, all right. Well, you know. Let's hear your theory now about being wrong. Oh, welcome to Theories by Bonnie. Bonnie, what's your theory today? My theory is that my husband loves being wrong because he's wrong. He's wrong so often. That it has to be, he's get, getting something out of it. Often or often? I say often. Maybe you're wrong now. <laughs> it's often. I don't give a shit. Often? And no one, I don't even, I don't think that's a word. How do you spell it? How do you spell the way you say it, or how is it supposed to be spelled? <laughs> no, no one says, how do you spell it the way you say it? No, how do you spell it? There's a. O F F E N. <laughs> that can't be. What is that real? I don't. Is know. that real? I'll, we'll look up the spelling. Often. You think it's O F F E N? O F F E N. D. Often. Whatever. We're not here to have <laughs> what? a spelling contest. Oh my God! Do you want to know how to spell often? Yeah, go you spell it. O F T E N. Whatever. It's just a dumb dumb thing. Okay, but see, he loves being wrong. He loves being wrong because he knows this thank you for proving my theory right in real time. Because you know that you can't spell, that I'm the better speller, and yet you still Oh yeah, who used to win Scrabble most of the time? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She gets so mad when I beat her. That Scrabble. is not true because used I used to win and you would stop not play no, with me anymore. A, oh my God, that's such a lie. I would oh win. my God. <laughs> I, was, oh. I would win a scratch and she gets so no, mad. No, no, not true. I, I, that's I'll not play true. you right now. I'll fucking kick your ass. I'm so good at Scrabble. Man, I play it all the time on my phone. Okay. Okay. Who does better at? Work. Are you playing master or hard? I play the hardest of everything. No, you don't. You don't. You don't play the hardest uh, in Scrabble. Are you kidding me? Look right here. You, where's Scrabble? Scrabble, go back. Here, let's start. Okay, create new game. Single player, new game. Single player. Where is it? Advance. Okay, go. There's a the higher one than advance. No, there isn't. Advanced is the the biggest. Expert is the biggest. Oh, I play advanced. Well, I don't want to. It's not ego with me. I'm going to go to a uh, expert now. I play when I play Sudoku. I play the the, the hardest. Look, look. It's right okay. Here. It's all right. Look, hold on, Sudoku. Where are we at? Continue game. Uh, where am I? I don't even know how to play that. Expert, see? Expert. Mm -hmm. I only play expert, and if I make a mistake, I erase the game. Cause if I, I make mistake, like, you, you're you actually sounding like English is your second language. Uh, so then the next night, I did one show at... A what? You're back to the fucking... We're done with South by Southwest. No, I didn't Who finish. gives a shit? I thought we were doing Bonnie's theories. Yeah, well, we did it. And that you love being wrong and then you proved me right. That's like a song. What? It's look at your look at you in there. Come the, on. Where's the You're uh, like this. Where's the cleaning people? I don't know. They haven't showed up yet. It's weird. Oh. Well, anyhow. Then I did one last show at the Creek in the Cave on, uh, what's today? Thursday? Mm -hmm. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Killed two ladies, of course, in the front row weren't smiling. I go, what's your problem? <laughs> then I, you know, fucking enough of your dumb... What do you care? I just, because I, I only brought it Not up everyone's going to like everybody. Yeah, I was, I was having a great set. Yeah, so they might I, not have gotten it. They just might not have well, been getting I had them, it. By the end, they were laughing. I always win. Except when you're wrong. No, because if I'm wrong... Oh, when you're work. wrong, you win because you want to be wrong. No, because I'm learning. No, you're I'm not lear you learning. You don't. No, you don't learn. You. That's 
That's crazy. You you never learn. You have no learning curve. In fact, oh. if I asked you to spell often right now, you how how would you spell it? O f f e n d offend. That's how you spelt it. No, that's two different words. Correct. All right, I'm gonna start a diet. My upper body's fucking muscular, but I gotta lose ten pounds. How do people lose fucking 150 pounds, but I can't lose? Wait, 10? You gotta you gotta be, you know, hundreds of pounds overweight. And then it's easier. Like, Why do you gain a hundred pounds? Then it'll be easier to lose. I'm yawning too. We're both yawning. That's a good theory. Is that going my theories thing? You know, they say the last 10 pounds are the hardest to lose. Yeah. What if you're only trying to lose eight? I mean, I don't even get that as a joke, but okay. Get it? No. No. What are you going to do today? I'm going to take my winter clothes downstairs and bring up spring and summer. Then I'm going to go to the storage unit and see if it's all. We haven't been there in months, even since the flood. Hopefully it didn't get flooded and all fucking moldy. Because I don't know. we got to just empty out that storage unit. See what we need. See what we need to throw out. And figure out where we're going to throw it out. You know, maybe a little at a time and take it to a dumpster. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm paying $80 a month for s stuff we don't even... You know, you have a storage unit. You go, oh, let me go to the storage unit. But everything we have in there, we don't need. So there's no reason to have it. Yeah, could just throw it out, but you won't let go of things. I just said we'll throw out what we don't need. I don't know where we'll throw it out, though. Into a dumpster. What dumpster? You can't just go up to dumpsters and throw your stuff out. You know. My glasses are so dirty. I can hardly see. Anyhow, so there you have it. Uh, there you have it? What? Do people... Oh, for those of you who are waiting for him to discuss the storage unit and what he's going to do with stuff, there you have it. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you say that after that? Well, because... <laughs> there you have it. I got into the... Folks, a lot of people are tuning in today to find out if I have a storage locker. Yes, I do. And what am I going to do with the stuff in the storage locker? I don't know. There you have it. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know, you got to throw it out, but I don't know where to throw it out. I know, but why'd you say there you have it? That's all I got on the subject. <laughs> but why'd you bring it up? Oh, because I asked you what you, you were doing today. what I was going to do. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to go to the storage unit. There's you something know. like completely wrong with you. No, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm just fucking, you know, trying to carry another podcast. Okay, keep going. So I'm going to bring my clothes. I got. You, you going to work out today? Of course. Of course, I worked out yesterday. I, I try to work out five, six days a week. My upper consistency, body. Consistency, that's the, the thing. I that's have a the great key. upper body, but I still have to lose 10 pounds. Like upper, you mean like from here up? The chest, upper body. You know, upper body? Look. Hit, well, I think of upper body as like. My, hit my chest. Hard as, no, feel it. You said hit it. Ow, I hurt my back doing that. Hard as a rock. But then you gain weight when you get older in your stomach. And it, you know, I see guys in the gym that have, like me, upper bodies, but, you know, I could lose 10 pounds. That's it. 10 pounds. Mm-hmm. You know, let me see if I have a... What? I have a picture of when I was fucking... No, you don't, need, you don't need to show... What are you, what's going on with you here? Nothing's going on with that me. You're going to show... Oh, here's a picture of me in a bikini. Should I do that? Should do I show you? Do you have one? No. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. What do you got to say? I Nothing. I don't know why you're doing this. Did you talk about... Uh, oh, yeah. You talked about that. What? Uh, I, also, I did a little preview for season three of Landscaping with Rich. Big, big hit. Everybody's looking forward to it. I just don't know what I'm going to do this year on our property because I've been doing so well, much. Well, you could, you could do some of the stuff that... Like the shed is literally sinking into the earth. No, the shed isn't, though. 
outside of it, it does. Cl- our our yeah. backyard collects so much property. Okay. I mean, so much water. Right. So you have to fix that. How am I going to fix the whole backyard with the water? I don't know how to. Well, that's a you know landscape with rich. Google it. Search it up. Figure it out. We and have- then another one is the trees out front are all dead. So you have to replant those with something that the the I know that the deers aren't going to eat. So there's that. Yes. Then we have to redo the deck. Right, re re restain it. restain it. Just the deck, not the railings. The railings look good, and the deck doesn't even look bad. I I power wash a lot of it. I'm gonna do it again when it gets warmer. I'll power wash. And then a lot of those, um, you know, uh, what bird houses are broken, yes, and the yes. wind wrecked a lot of stuff. So you got work out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I do have a... You don't need to show a picture of yourself. No, I'm looking for you. No, I don't... I know what you look like. I know what you look like. I know what you've always looked like, okay? Right. Stop. I need... Stop. A, no. What's stop. with all those, like, screenshots? Of people that either said something negative or if I need it as proof for whatever maybe uh bills or taxes or what the i don't hell? know i if okay, i have come a, screen, on. I have you a were, screenshot then there's you don't need to this, a picture of me and louis anderson oh four of them look at that boy you could have i could have what nothing you're gonna say something negative no about my dead friend no i he was so nice to us all the time. Mm-hmm. I think the last time we saw him was in Montreal in the hallway. He was sitting down mm-hmm. and we were leaving. And he's just so nice. He was so nice. Yeah. Same with Saget. Everybody, all these people that were like so, so nice. Oh, it's the, 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 I just heard them. Oh, okay. go answer the door. Bonnie's going to, should I wrap this up or? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap all it up. right. I, I, hold on. I was looking for a picture. Of when I was rip ripped. I mean, I'm my upper body is fucking amazing. You know, I can't find the picture. It doesn't matter. Anyhow, let's let's. You know what? Let me go over some of my dates. Let's take a look. Oh, wrong one. I went to calendar. Okay, so this weekend I'm in Harrisburg, the Comedy Zone, and then April first and second. I'm in Fort Myers at the Comedy Cafe. The 8th and 9th of April, Magoobies. 8th and 9th in Baltimore or whatever. Then uh, 15th and 16th, Niagara Falls with Bobby Kelly. April 22nd, 23rd, Rhode Island, the Comedy Connection. And April 28th, 29th, and 30th, Edmonton. Uh... I don't know the name of the club. So, uh, go to richfoss.com for all my dates. And uh, that's all we got. Thank you for fucking listening. Oh, I'm exhausted. That's what sucks about going on the road. You come home and then going on the road is great because you don't have all the fucking headaches and all the shit you got to deal with at home. You go on the road, you work, you're tired from travel, and then you come home and it it just starts all over. Anyhow, there you have it. I'm fucking done. Thank you for listening. Come see me in Harrisburg. Come see me at all the places I'm working. Go see Bonnie. Support comedy. That's, oh, you're back? Well, what? I'm trying to say goodbye. Do you have anything you want to plug or anything? No. No? Aren't you working in Chicago? Oh, Chicago, the 8th and the 9th at two different places. But The 8th and 9th of what? Um, April. And then I'm also in um, the Ooh. 24th of March. I'm somewhere. Hang on one second. I'll find out. Oh, shit. April 8th and 9th. Um, oh, fuck. Will, 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 Wilmington Brew Works. You know, the okay. eighth and ninth, I'm out of town too. What are we going to do with Raina? I told you uh, so long ago, and you said I, I, I'm not working that weekend. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Well, then, That's why I booked then it. Maybe then and I, I flew. I, I already booked my flight. Well, I don't know. I, she can come with me. Where are you going? 
Marilyn McGoobies. Oh, that's fun. She likes that. It's, that's got a good um, green room. All right. Thanks, everybody. All right, we appreciate I'm, you. Do you appreciate them? Is that what you really do? I do, because, you know. Is there any funny clips you think from this? Name one. Uh, when you were s s spelling often. It just makes me look, look at bad. those rings. I mean, I just can't get over it. It's so wild. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of compliments. Well, people compliment you. I see people compliment you. They go, whoa, those rings. Nice. You know, it's like. It's like if somebody had like a bunch of um, like piercings in their face, you have to notice it. So you're like, oh, I, I like your piercings. But really, you're like, ay, ay, ay. People go, ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. They still do that? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay. Did you eat your toast and avocado that you didn't make me? I thought you already made one because the avocado was I didn't cut. eat anything. I'm going to go to the store and get a bagel and then come back. All right. I'll eat, then take a shower when I get back. Okay. And Thanks, maybe, everyone. Maybe I'll go take a look now. Wilmington Brew Works. I don't even know what state that is. Delaware? You're so stupid. Where is it? <laughs> Wilmington, Delaware? Yeah. Okay. So I was right. Why is that so stupid if I was right? Well, there's also Wilmington, North Carolina. Oh, let me name some Canadian cities and see if you know the provinces. Name one. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, you don't even know cities. Regina. <laughs> Between your legs. Regina. Regina, Alberta. It's not. It's Saskatchewan. Same thing. You're so stupid. <laughs> that's your comeback. <laughs> well, that's what you said to me. A, but you're working there. I'm not working in Regina. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> not for a few. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay thank you yeah well no yeah I, well, you're working there i'm not okay come on let's let's end it i'm done i'm really done i'm done with everything what do you say to that okay ciao peace out we're done bye my Wife Hates Me was created and hosted by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast by visiting mywifehatesmepodcast.com. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bum and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.